We're going to see a, a local theatre group who work with children as the basis of trauma treatment. It was a real chance to talk to and get to know some of the children in the communities that were devastated by the tsunami. These children have been through not just the tsunami, I mean years of war. Okay, one, two, three. You know, often we see scenes of disaster and, and it's almost like we forget that the people we imaged are individuals with individual stories and lives. I do one more and then we're done. And I felt that making portraits was very important to bring that fact home that this person lost these members of their family and under these circumstances. And they're an individual and that for me is, is a really important aspect of work. Okay, you come, come and show, I'll show you, you can have a look in and you see what it's like. Do you see? Okay. As a photographer you need to develop a practice, you know, a way of working that, that, that suits your personality but also allows you to bring out the sort of subject matter that you think is important. For me it's all about personalisation and I think that these stories and these issues are to do with people and you need to try and make a body of work that represents the complexities of these people's lives rather than simplify them. Ah. I was interested in the idea of drama, of theatre, of trauma and how trauma is hidden deep within people. She was playing with the mask and she put it up to her face like that and I saw her so I thought, okay, I'll ask her. Show me. Yeah, that's it. So the mask is a way of giving you one face when really there's another face behind. So I like this sort of exchange. That's what we're going to do. I've worked before in areas of conflict and I can see how deeply traumatised people don't necessarily show their trauma. It's very, very deep within. Thank you. I was photographing the portraits and then I came across this and I didn't know what it was and I thought well maybe we could link the portraits I've been taking of the kids with these faces. When I talked to the organiser about the masks, he said oh this is represents a graveyard and in fact each one of these masks represents somebody that died in the tsunami that the children knew. I'm interested in this idea of faces and of trauma and of masks and um, so I think by concentrating on the combination of those things maybe that I can create a feeling about you know this idea of trauma and what these people might have been through.